My name is Mittens, and today I'm going to help you out with a video that people have been asking me to make for a long, long time. Now, as you can see, if you've watched any of my earlier videos in this Vanilla WoW Rogue playthrough, I have suddenly a new bar add-on. This is Bartender 2. And you might be wondering, how do I get add-ons? How do I install them on this old client? People probably use add-ons during their retail experience in WoW and wonder how am I going to get my hands on these vanilla add-ons and how am I going to install them so that I can play them when I play on Nostalrius or Phoenix or whatever server I'm wanting to be play on. Now, um, basically what I'll say about this is that the hardest thing about this is actually getting your hands on the vanilla add-ons themselves. It's not the installation process, that bit is easy, but I have a way of getting your hands on some well, dozens really, of uh, really good add-ons that will all work on this server um, for 1.12 clients and they're in one folder that you can all download and have on your desk and you can thank me for this and I will thank the people who uploaded it uh, I will thank them for that but now I'm just going to go uh, onto my desktop and show you how it's done, so follow me Okay guys, right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a Google page and type in wow one and what wow one is it is basically the phoenix warsong site now i don't personally use phoenix warsong anymore i play on the stalrius but uh, this will work because phoenix has been up for s many years now and so the community has grown to the point where add-ons have become a central feature and there are many guides on how to uh, how to use them how to install them so basically you will c when you type in wow one and click on the first link this is what will come up you go straight to the top right here and click on forums this will open up this tab, which is all you need, so you can get rid of the old one. Now, you're going to scroll down until you will find here something which should say Discussion Forums 1.121, which is the patch for Vanilla 1.12.1, which is what you want. And then you will go down to this one, Vanilla Interface and Macros, and you will see this subbar, Add-ons. Click on that one, and what you want to click is this second link here, Vanilla 1.12 add-ons. Now this is a great link because what it will have is this Mediafire page which you will then open up. So you click on this and it will take you here in a minute once it loads. It should take you to a page which will have a download link to a 50 megabyte folder which will literally have I think hundreds of add-ons. Hundreds of add-ons. When it finally loads that is. So I'll just give it a minute to load up. I don't know why it's taking so long right now. But uh, it should come up any minute. Okay guys, and with the miracle of time, this uh, Mediafire page has finally loaded up. Uh, what you want to do is literally click this big green button here which says download 49.99 megabytes. And as you can probably already tell from the size of the file, it's kind of large, so there are loads and loads of add-ons in this. I'm not going to download it, I just did. As you can see, it's down here in my download bar. So I'm going to exit out of that page, you've seen how to get to it. And once you've downloaded it, you will need a program like WinRAR to, in order to download it, but I'm not going to show you how to, to do that. You should probably know how to get one of those by now. It's free and there are tutorials everywhere on how to get that. It's one of the most important programs you can have during downloading. But anyway, enough about that. You will get this and what you'll have here is a folder called Add-ons. And in that you can see all of these add-ons uh, are, are characterized alphabetically. They're all uh, categorized rather al al alphabetically. And what you want to do is probably extract this uh, folder onto your desktop or anywhere you'd like. And then say once you've done that, you can get rid of it. And what you want to do is open up your Nostalrius folder or whatever folder in which the vanilla server that you're playing on is on. So for example if you have a Phoenix, um, a Phoenix location you might do that like for example if you're doing Phoenix it would be like this open file location for Phoenix you would go into interface add-ons and there you are but I'm gonna do it with Nostalrius because that's what a lot of people are playing right now that's what I personally play so what you want to do is you go into Nostalrius you go into interface this will be the same with any different client that you're using whatever server it is you go interface add-ons this will already be there that folder will already exist and what you will have is all of these blizzard tools which are things that were already coming with the game as you can see I've installed bartender already which you saw when I showed the in-game footage but what you might want to do at this point is say open up your add-on the folder that you had and I don't know let's say let's just look at A for example and then I don't know let's look for Atlas Loot you could search for it but I'm just gonna scroll down and there we are Atlas Loot okay uh, you just you don't need to click into it. You just need to minimize that. Have both folders up. So 
that's the add-ons subfolder from the client and this is what you've just downloaded and then basically just drag what you want you can drag them all if you want it would take ages but let's just say we drag Atlas Loot and we move it into the add-ons subfolder of our Nostalrius client now you can, as you can see right here Atlas Loot is up I'm just going to exit Nostalrius because I'm currently in it and what we will do now is I will just show you how to activate it in game, which you probably already know how to do, but I'll just take it right to its conclusion. But as you can see, that's the basic part of how to download the add-ons. So if I close down both of these folders, you'll need to close down, and you'll need to close down the game if you have the game running. And then what we will do is I will meet you inside Nostalrius once I load it up. Okay, so now we're in game. I've just logged on, but I'm in the character selection screen. You don't want to actually enter the world. And as you can see, in the bottom left hand corner, there is a button which says add ons. You click that, and as you can see, we have Atlas Loot Enhanced, which we have just installed, alongside Bartender, which I already had installed. You just click OK. You can see they're both ticked, so they're enabled. Enter the world, just to confirm that everything's working as it should be. And once we load up, if I, for example, do slash Atlas Loot, there you can go. You see there the options for it. So for example, yeah, safe loot. There, so as you can see, Atlas Loot is enabled because this has popped up when I've just typed it in. So there you go guys, that's just a quick guide on how to download and install add-ons and how to activate them for in-game. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like and share with your friends and other players if it was helpful. And please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see any vanilla content or any other guides. Thank you very much for watching.